So in many ways, the brain can't distinguish real from imaginary. Where it gets really cool, the brain can't tell the difference between whether you're moving or whether, you've got, or whether you have your eyes closed and you're imagining you're moving. Scientists at Harvard, led by a professor called uh, Alvaro Pascal Leon, very famous neurologist, got volunteers to sit in front of a piano and play a sequence of five notes with their fingers. So they basically went, plunk, 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 up and down a wee scale, using each of their five fingers, and they were asked to do that for two hours on five consecutive days. Right, that's quite tiring. You don't really do two hours. You basically plunk for a minute, and then you rest for a couple of minutes. And you plunk, plunk, plunk for a minute, and then you rest your fingers for a couple of minutes. But you do that plunking and resting for two hours on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, they had their brain scanned every day. And the scientists focused in on the region of the brain connected to the finger muscles. And get this. They found that that region of the brain had actually grown like a muscle. Remember I said earlier, if you exercise a muscle, it gets bigger. But if you exercise a region of the brain, the exact same thing happens. So by exercising these muscles, the region of the brain connected to the finger muscles by playing these notes had grown, and it's called neuroplasticity. It had grown by a factor of 30 to 40 times, quite a huge amount. But while these volunteers were sitting in front of a piano playing notes with their fingers, a second group of volunteers had their eyes closed and sat with their hands flat and imagined that they were playing the notes. And it's called kinesthetic imagery. In other words, you imagine how it feels to be really doing the thing. So they were asked to put their hands flat, no movement, but just imagine the feeling of going like that. Just imagine the feelings as if you really were moving the fingers like that. And they were to also to do that for two hours on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They had their brain scanned every day. Amazingly, their brain in the, in the finger region had also grown like a muscle by a factor of 30 to 40 times. And if you put the, I have a copy of the brain scans on my laptop. And if you put the brain scans side by side, those who played the notes versus those who imagined playing the notes, you cannot tell the difference between those who played the notes with their fingers and those who played the notes with their minds. In other words, for all intents and purposes, the brain doesn't make a distinction between whether you're actually moving or whether you've, you've got your eyes closed and you're imagining the movement. 